following segment is sponsored by Uplift Families. We all want to help build that lifetime connection with our family. And joining us now to tell us how we can do just that is Susanna with Uplift Families. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much. Well, we are so glad to have you because parenting is tricky. It's hard. It's hard at it any age. <laughs> yeah. No, so. And we're going to be talking a little bit about setting those boundaries today because it can be so difficult. We were talking before we started. I'm always trying to get parenting advice whenever you guys come on. <laughs> I have a little two-year-old who is already pushing limits, and I'm just thinking about these teen years that are going to be coming because we all know that the teen years are batting down right. the hatches. It's going to get tricky. Well, and that's the time that they're supposed to be pushing boundaries and, and becoming independent. We want we want them to be independent eventually, right? We want yes. healthy Google, adults. Right? That's, get, that's what we get want. Get out of the house eventually, right? Right, right. <laughs> Still working on that. Um, but those are the times, like now, I have friends that go, what do I do if you have a 13 or 14 year old? I'm like, well, the best time is to start at younger ages, even that two year old, setting those boundaries. And I have um, kids that are as young as 10 and even younger than that, that you can have those conversations with. And it doesn't have to be, this is my expectation and mm -hmm. you need to check these boxes, but it can be, hey, so, and I don't know how old your child, like you said two years old, um, talking and playing with them, getting down with that child and letting them know that you're safe and still saying, no, you can't touch the hot burner yes. or you can, no, we don't want you eating the dog food. Um, those are the it's things. like you're in my house with me <laughs> right now. This is, happens all the time. It's not like it hasn't happened to all of us. Um, <laughs> but those are the things we want to do. And I don't know if you've had the wonderful experience of having your child melt down in the grocery store. Oh, yes, yes. That's the best. <laughs> I'm like, but you can start now to set those boundaries and knowing of what's okay and what's not. Well, and we want our kids to be able to come to us. It's this, this really hard thing to do because you want to be a friend for your child, obviously, that support system, but you also need to be mom. You need to yeah. be that parent. Yeah. Um, would you have any advice for navigating those tricky waters? Gosh, you know, the first thing is listening. And that's hard. I, I learned later than I should have. Um, sitting down and listening to what they want to talk about. And it isn't that uh, we had to have these really deep conversations, although we do, but listening to what they want to talk about. And I am I'm old now. <laughs> You're not. <laughs> well, I do, I'm not a huge TikTok person or anything, but my kids, they'll tell me about, they watch this on YouTube or they watch this on TikTok. And so I have to listen to what they're telling me and, and kind of allow them to express who they are and mm -hmm. then I can respond and say, oh, you know, what do you think about when they talk about this? And use it maybe as a learning experience or a, an opportunity, but more so that we can create that bonding moment. I think that's such a great tip, especially with teenagers, to immerse yourself in their world yeah. so that you actually you can understand what they're going through. They're gonna be way more apt to open up to you, right. but also setting those clear boundaries, knowing that if I go over this, yeah. then there, there's, gonna be, there's gonna be repercussions. You yeah. have such a great advice. Where can we go for more? Upliftfamilies.org is a great place. There's an article there, actually, that we talk about this, <laughs> so. Great, so go check out that article yes. and get ready to set those boundaries and create those deep connections with your family. Yes, Thank definitely. you so much, Susanna. Thank you.